Thank you, folks, and welcome back to uh, our program. Uh, my next guest has had a distinguished career and often controversial uh, as an actor. He has played uh, characters uh, Judas, Walt Whitman, Richard Nixon, and is currently appearing in a film called Cross Creek with Mary Steenburgen. It's a pleasure now to meet Rip Torn. Rip? <laughs> Thank you very much for being on the program. I recently, uh, Mary Steenburgen was here not too long ago, and I had seen Cross Creek, and I thought you were terrific in it. Thank you. Did a really, really nice job. Uh, for people who may not have seen the film, uh, explain your character, and then I'd like to find out if there was uh, an actual person you based that on. Well, I, I play uh, a backwoodsman, uh, a poacher, a bootlegger, a subsistence uh, farmer. It's a guy in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, did you, is this a guy you just invented, or did you? Oh, I grew up uh, in East Texas. I used to uh, fish a lot along the Sabine River and this... Cattle Lake, and they're like a lot of people I grew up with. Uh -huh. Did you do any work with any of the, the locals uh, before the film? This, this was based on uh, uh, Rawlings. What was the? Uh... Uh, Marjorie Kennedy Rawlings. Yeah, she was quite a character down there, wasn't she? Yeah, they still talk about Ms. Rawlings, and they're very uh, protective of her. It's almost as if they got a state park down there named after her. Uh -huh. But they still talk about Miss Rollins this, Miss Rollins that. Yeah. Did you uh, uh, spend any time with them before you did the movie? Well, I, we built a boat. Me and a fellow named Jake Glisson, we built the boat that uh, we used in the, in the film. It's an Orange Creek poacher's boat. Now, uh, that's interesting to me. Why would you, I can understand going down there, you know, to, to talk to folks that, who, who knew the woman and get research and so forth and background. But wh why would you help a guy build a boat? Oh, we know he hit, uh, well... I said if I got the right boat for the guy that I'm playing and the right horse for him and the right gun, right clothes and everything, I might mess up the acting, but the rest of it will <laughs> At least you'd be covered, it, yeah. But, uh, so, you know, it's like having basic equipment. How long did it take you to build the boat? Three days and three nights. Oh, so... We no. leased it to the film company. Uh, we heard them bad. It was like a $14 million film, and uh, we charged them uh, $700 uh, for the, the lease. The Bull Gator is the name of the boat. It's one of my first uh, venture capitalist uh, things, and uh, <laughs> we split it up and put it in our pockets and shook hands, and we still got the boat down there. Well, good. And so the next time some, another That's unsuspecting right. film crew comes through, well, you'll... I'll build you some more props. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were... Uh, let me ask you about your name. That's a, a, an interesting name, isn't it? Were it you, certainly were, is. Were you born Rip Torn? <laughs> <laughs> well, they tell me they said... Uh, mm, Little Rip out of Big Rip, because that's my dad's name. He yeah. was Rip Torn, and, and I got an uncle named Roland. Uh, he's called uh, Rip, and I got a cousin named Sam that's called Rip, so don't mess with us, a bunch of us. Oh, no, I'm not going to mess with okay. you. Okay. Uh, but it, it, was, it was a nickname, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a nickname. I got my, my, my Texas driver's license. Oh, here. good. You never your, tell Put anybody. your hands on the car, Rip. And, well, uh, don't tell anybody in uh, New Mexico you're from Texas, but I guess it's okay up here. All right, operator. Oh, I see. Here we go. All right, down there. Let's take a look at that. Now, did you ever have any, any difficulty with that name when you were first starting out as a serious actor? Torn, Elmore. Serious? <laughs> Rule. They yeah. said it was a bit country. And they said Rip sounded like a comedian, so... Uh, but I said, no, that's my cousin. Uh -huh. <laughs> and did, did anybody ever ask you to change uh, the name? Yes, actually, I got to play him, uh, Mr. Carlo Ponte. Uh, he, he offered me a seven-picture deal early in my life, and they said he had to, uh, that, I, that I had to change my name, and I got a chance to play him later on. I hope I didn't take no vengeance on him. Yeah. So, what, what did you tell him when he said, we'd like you to change your name? I didn't have anything to say. I just uh, said thank you and got up and walked out. You know, it was kind of dumb. Uh -huh. Oh, well. Uh, but it was very important to, to keep the name Rip Torn. Uh, it wasn't, but I thought I was protecting my real name, Elmore, by using the name Rip, and if I did anything dreadful, because showbiz, oh, sure. where I grew up, had an awful reputation. <laughs> yeah, just so the folks back home wouldn't right. know. Yeah, it was right. Elmore in trouble. Uh, y you, uh, you were also offered a, uh, an exclusive contract by Howard Hughes, weren't you, at one point in your career? Uh, I think I was, because I never talked to Mr. Hughes. Uh, I knew uh, Walter Kane, who's a big uh, entrepreneur out in... Uh, uh, Las Vegas, and he said that Mr. Hughes had seen me on television and, and uh, with Tuesday Well and wanted to put me on the contract. Were you pretty excited about that at the time? Well, definitely. I mean, he's an all-American hero. and uh, But I thought about it, and I knew the old boy that had played uh, 
Billy the Kid did one movie and was on salary for about 25 years. See, Mr. Hughes had so many irons in the fire that he didn't really, uh, he didn't know, he might forget about you. Yeah. So uh, I told, I said, thank you very much, but I just want to remain independent. Yeah. Did you ever actually meet the guy face to face? Never did. No, yeah. never did. There, there's a story that, that we were talking about this afternoon that uh, Norman Mailer bit your ear. Is that the truth? We were doing a film in which he probably uh, invited 20 or 30 people to make a, an assassination attempt on him. And it was a kind of improvisational film. And uh, so I whacked him pretty good, and I think he no, thought I was going to... Whacked him with what? Uh, a lethal object. And uh, I think he thought that uh, I, when I said, you know, I thought it was a movie, and I said, uh, you know, like, uh, lie down, Norman, you gotta, you got to die now. You know, it's like you <laughs> yeah. play bang, bang, cowboys and Indians. Yeah because this was improvisational. And uh, he had a different idea for the script. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about all it amounted to. So he then did bite you on the ear? Well, you can't fault Norman for that because uh, <laughs> uh, he went to war with a Texas regiment. And that's an old frontiersman uh, last grasp kind of thing, you know, if the bear's eating you or that uh, if the bronco's trying to stomp you alive, if you can get a hold of their ear, you, you know. You bite them in the ear. Like that, you... But I said to him, I said, Norman, I need this ear to work with, and he said, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what is, what are you... We're still good friends. We see each other really? on birthdays. <laughs> about once a year is about all we can take. What are you, what are you uh, working on now? What is coming up for you? I've just finished a film with uh, Kathleen Quinlan uh, on one of your neighbor stations, and... Uh, I'm going to do a film with uh, Willie Nelson down in Austin. Oh, that sounds like fun. And I'm also working each year in the settlement houses here in New York City doing uh, Shakespeare and Strindberg and oh, Shaw great. and that's a lot great. of American... Uh, Plus, this boat influence. rental thing could take off <laughs> like that. Rip, it was a pleasure meeting Thank you. you. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Good luck, people. Yeah. You're right there, Rip. Yeah. We'll be right back, brother. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, Rip. Tomorrow night on this program, Martin Sheen, uh, animal expert Warren Eckstein, and also Tony Randall. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. We'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>